Edge computing. Edge computing is a distributed open IT architecture that features decentralized processing power enabling mobile computing and Internet of Things technologies. In edge computing, data is processed by the device itself or by a local computer or server rather than being transmitted to a data center. So, why edge computing is important? Each computing enables data stream acceleration, including real-time data processing without latency. It allows smart applications and devices to respond to data almost instantaneously as it's being created and eliminating lag time. Based on research paper I have studied, this is critical for technologies such as self-driving cars, which has equally important benefits for business. For example, based on Toyota research and development, Japanese auto manufacturer Toyota estimates that the data volume between vehicles and the cloud will reach 10 exabytes per month till the year 2025, which is approximately 10,000 times than the present volume. This sort of big data challenge calls for age computing. The first feature in edge computing is advanced driver assist systems ADAS. For instance, Toyota had developed to achieve better occupant protection and develop an ecosystem for connected cars to support emerging services such as intelligent driving and transport, creating of maps with real-time data, and as well as driving assistance based on cloud computing. The element of safety sense is the pre-collision safety system, detects pedestrians during the day and night and cyclists during the day to help prevent collisions and mitigate damage. Another element is secondary collision brake, which contributes to mitigate the damage caused by secondary collisions. The secondary collision brake and the brake lights are automatically activated if the SRS airbag sensor detects a collision and activates the airbags. This decelerates the vehicle to lessen damage caused by secondary collision. speed acceleration control to support the prevention of collisions caused by pedal misapplication at time of reduced speed. This uses millimeter wave radar and a mono camera to recognize bicycle riders and pedestrians immediately in front of the car. This control helps prevent collisions and mitigate damage by suppressing the engine output or by lightly applying the brakes to suppress acceleration if there is an object in front of the car and the accelerator pedal is lower with excessive force when starting from standstill or during low speed operation. Dynamic radar cruise control with full speed range that supports driving behind another car. So, let's watch the video about dynamic radar cruise control.
teacher is Lin Tracing Assist LTA that enhance steering cars so the cars can remain centered in the same lane when using the radar cruise control. So let's watch the video about Lin Tracing Assist. Next, automatic high beam EHB that changes between high beam and low beam headlights. So, we will watch about automatic high beam for each computing in next video. RSA that displays road signs recognized by the camera on the display so that the drivers do not miss them. which represents the advanced parking support system and is based on Toyota's automation concept of having the car and driver act as partners. This system supports parking operations by controlling not just the steering wheel but also the accelerator and brakes. This system alerts the driver with audible warnings and applies the brakes to help avoid minor collisions by using cameras and ultrasonic sensors. To monitor the area of the car, by setting the parking spot in advance, the system can also park in spots without white lines. Another features are display audio and one-touch power windows. These features, which can connect with smartphones either USB or Bluetooth for audio and also allow screen mirroring between smartphone and HD touch screen. It also allows two different audio at one time. For instance, the driver can listen to their own interest audio and the passenger also can choose their own interest audio to listen.
based on research paper I have studied regarding edge computing in self-driving. Self-driving vehicles combining automobiles with autopilot systems enables intelligent and safe driving. Self-driving vehicles can achieve accurate automatic navigation, trajectory tracking, and automatic overtaking by using GPS, radars, and inertial measurement unit IMU. Thus, the age of smart connected cars and autonomous vehicles brings a new challenge to the automotive industry, especially age computing. So, that's all from me about age computing for self-driving vehicles. I will see you guys next time. Bye!